Now the thing you're likely to want to do is rotate this thing. So if I go over here and hit rotate, uh, now I can get a different kind of manipulator. Um, this is the rotate manipulator, and now it's a little uh, ball, little trackball, virtual trackball. And you have those same axes, and so you keep your eye on the view compass down here. You'll see Z, that would be going around Z, that would be going around X. So red goes around X, green goes around Y. And so you have X, Y, and Z, so I can rotate it around Z. That's a likely rotation I'd do on the spiral staircase. Um, I can also rotate it around X, though. Not a very likely rotation, unless it fell over. Um, or, uh, or Y here. All right, so, uh, and then you can just undo if you don't like any of those. Now you can also rotate it uh, in multiple axes at once. If you click anywhere not on one of the uh, little constrained lines, you can just get a free rotation. You rotate in all those uh, directions all at once. All right, and then you can also have a, there's also a um, circle encompassing everything. If you click on that circle, and it'll turn yellow, indicating that uh, that's that's the thing you're currently picking. If you click on that circle, you're rotating around in screen space, so around whatever imaginary axis that my eyes are making with respect to this thing. So as I look down through it, now I'm rotating it around that line that my eyes are making, looking at this thing. And I can also come in and scale it, so I move over to the Select and Scale tab, and you can see it's called Select and Uniform Scale, and you notice that Scale has a couple, has a, a little black triangle there, which is called a flyout, so it has a couple of different modes as well. We'll talk about those in just one second, because actually one of these has kind of become redundant, uh, but we'll talk about the other one in a sec. Let's talk about Basic Scale here first. Select and Uniform Scale, you see this uh, manipulator here. And this allows me to change the size of this thing in various ways. And similar to the other uh, transform types, um, it has it turns yellow wherever you're um, about in whatever operation you're about to do on it. So as I uh, mouse over different parts of this little manipulator or this little gizmo, um, I get it turn various things turn yellow. The most basic way to use scale is if you click on the very middle of it. And that's going to scale the entire thing up or down uniformly in every single direction. So grow, shrink, grow, shrink, right? Now, if I click on various uh, components of that manipulator, I can scale it in different ways. So you see, uh, just like the others, you have Y, X, Z. Uh, so if I scale in Z, it's going to grow it in just one direction. And same with X and Y, so you can non-uniform scale those, meaning you're proportionally scaling them in one direction or another. And then you can also, again, similar to the to the uh, move uh, transform tool, you can scale in two dimensions at once. So whenever you click on uh, one of these regions just outside the uniform scale, just outside all three axes, you have you can constrain it to two. So now I'm going to scale it in Z and X all at once. A handy one for this one might be to scale it in X and Y all at once, but not Z. So it's going to going to kind of thicken it out, and but not make it any taller. Now, if you go to the flyout and enable some of these other things, you see there's a select and uniform scale. There's also a select and non-uniform scale, which is in 3D Studio a long time ago. You used to have to pick that because there was no. Uh, manipulator like this. this manipulator technology didn't come on the scene till a little later but uh, so you would have if you wanted to scale it in one direction or another you would have had to pick those the axis individually and s select this button separately but now you can get to all that functionality that's in this little um, this little tool with the select and uniform scale however there's this other one here which is called uh, select and squash and so what Select and Squash allows you to do is, as you scale in one direction or another, it will kind of squish out the other directions as well. So it's kind of a little squash operation. It keeps the volume roughly the same. So as I scale it up in Z, it makes X and Y uh, more and more narrow. So if I go back to the Select and Uniform scale, you'll be in that uh, you know 90% of the time at least. Um, come over to here and these three tools are so common for you to use that they're mapped to uh, hotkeys 
already. The hotkeys form RW for the transform, select and move, uh, excuse me, for the move transform, E for rotate, and R for scale. So W, E, and R. And so from now on, I'll just switch between those modes with W, E, and R.